Okay guys, this is Christina and she's in front of a relief center here and she's going to tell us about this relief center. Hi guys, um, we're from Novelis Contracting. We are a private owned contracting company in New York City. Uh, we all flew down here after we heard of the hurricane. Set up these tents and um, donations, FEMA, Humanity Road, organizations like that came and joined us. Um, so what we have here is a donation tent where people can collect baby needs, canned food, snacks, water, household products, cleaning products. And then in the far tent we have three hot meals a day. We have FEMA aid there. Uh, we have porta potties um, and things like that. We are taking donations and we're taking volunteers. Uh, volunteers are much needed. Donation-wise, we need, I would say, food and cleaning products. We do not need clothing and we do not need water. We have too much of that. Would um, you say Moldex too, as far as the cleaning goes, because of the storm surge water, Moldex, that type of thing would be yeah, a good one? Yes, people have been dumping off Clorox a lot and things like that, um, even batteries. Uh, somebody just requested fans. If anybody has solar powered fans, that's a great thing to chop off. Uh, bug spray. Uh, what about electric fans? Are we? Can you? Can they not even use them right now? The power is gone mostly, right? Um, yeah, I haven't heard any requests for you know anything that is electrical whatsoever. I've only heard for things like batteries for their flashlights and okay. more survival any, type of things. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, How long again, have you been here now? Um, we got down here last Sunday. And how long do you think you, you plan on staying? We don't have a set date yet, but we're, I guess, you know, until people don't need us anymore. Okay. Yeah. And um, when are you open? Nine to six. Nine and to six, Monday through seven days a week? Yep, seven days a week, and we are marker mile 30 in Big Pine Key. Okay, I you know. heard it, mile marker 30 in Big Pine Key. Navalis. Come volunteer. Navalis Relief Center, please guys, yes, come volunteer. Um, from anywhere, just like, they have to pay all their own way here though, huh? Yes, unfortunately okay. we haven't had that set up yet. Um, I heard a lot of people were talking about meeting in the Kmart at Key Largo uh, for 9 a.m. busing, but you know, I don't have any specifics. You have to talk to your neighborhood, I guess. Okay, how about I get some information from you to put in the description about how they might uh, come volunteer? Yeah, definitely. Okay, anything else you can think of? Um, not as of yet. We're providing everything we can, really, besides ice. Okay, so basically, you're not having people donate ice, or you are? Um, the, there's an army down the street, like some army setup that's donating ice okay. to people. So, so we're actually using them for our ice, okay. for our food. Um, and then right next door also is the blue tent organization that I think they're going and tending people's houses. So that's right next door to us. They're tending to people's houses? Um, tenting, yeah. Oh, tenting. Like doing the tarp and tents and things like that. Okay, and that's next door. I'll go check yeah. that out as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. You heard it from her, her right here at this Relief Center on Big Pine Key, Mile Marker 30. Thank you. Thank you. It's busy, busy as you can see.